after the Tigers had upset the Bullets at the Glass House in Melbourne at the start of last season, they came to Boondle ready to repeat the dose. With Andrew Gaze leading the way, the Tigers almost caused another boil over. But finally, Larry Sengstock hit the critical match-winning basket and the Bullets held on to win in a cliffhanger. But tonight is another story. And it's big Dave Colbert, number 25. Uh, Dave Simmons in number 25. He'll be jumping against Winston Crite. And uh, it's Dave Simmons who gets up the tip going away to Giddings. And the first shot of the game from Sibley just rimming out. And Andrew goes. What a thrill it is to see the wonder from down under who thrilled us all with his performances at Seton Hall and the NCAAs here in Brisbane. Colbert with a shot. Underneath the bucket is Simmons, and that's the sort of teamwork that these two have been turning on for the Melbourne. This last week again, I suppose you could say. Sorry, John. <laughs> the Bullets last week went very strongly in the early parts to Winston Crite. We're just watching what they do this week. They haven't gone to him yet, but uh, with a little less defensive uh, effort needed from Winston, I expect them to start very early going to him and letting him operate inside. Gaze's first shot, and that's good. Going baseline, I was watching him in the warm-ups. It's very interesting to watch uh, how he prepares. And he was out there a good three quarters of an hour before the other team warmed up. And uh, he was just shooting from baseline like that all the time. Winston Cripe from outside. Winston Cripe, And a great reject, too. That foul called on Dave Simmons for pushing. Here's Gaze on the fast break, getting around Giddings. That's why he's been averaging over 32 points a game in the NBL this season. 7-2 to the Tigers. The turnover from Crite. Melbourne like to run the ball. They're getting the ball down the court very quickly, particularly after the bullet store a bucket. Andrew Gaze, particularly very fast off the mark. That's where he gets a lot of his points from, finishing off the fast break. So it'll be something to watch tonight. It's going to be very hard on Leroy having to chase him up and down the court. Interesting enough here, Leroy having the hardest defensive assignment. will have to work very hard there, whereas Winston, of course, be able to take a little bit of a breather. Not much. Well, nothing really working for the Bullets at this stage. Their offense is certainly looking a little bit at sixes and sevens, but the thing that impresses me the most about Melbourne is the way they're getting the ball up and down the floor. Andrew Gaze is leading them from the back, and so too is this man, Ray Gordon. The thing with Gaze that, I'm, that I think has improved since he has played the United States is that now he's looking to pass the ball a lot more too because he's got guys like Dave Simmons there to look for inside. So all of a sudden, the scoring opportunities for Melbourne from last year have escalated by about two or 300%. Brisbane off to their familiar start, all too familiar start at the moment. 11 points to four now with Winston Pride hitting that one. And normally the visiting team that would start a little bit more tentatively. Colbert missing an easy layup. The rebound going to Pride. He's being everywhere for the Bullets in the last couple of minutes. Giddings puts up the shot. It somehow misses the fast outlet pass. It goes to Simmons and he jams it. One wonders where his defensive assignment was in that uh, foray down the court there because he was waiting on halfway for that pass. Gaze is really calling the tune at the moment. Loggins and Gaze, and good defense from Loggins. That's two three point attempts from Andrew Gaze, and both of them unsuccessful. Now it's Loggins' turn. Lovely assist, and there's the jam for Winston Price. the Mazda slam dunk by Winston Crite, who's been doing it for an Andrew Gaze bomb. I think that's almost a certainty. Instead, oh, it's Colbert who puts it up. Who needs Andrew Gaze? Exactly. <laughs> what a great quarter he's had. Dave Colbert, 16 points. And the Melbourne Tigers, 36 to 23. The Brisbane Bullets stunned by this first quarter. They're down by 13. We'll take a break. It's been a great comeback from the Bullets, 47-44. How often has, have we seen it happen as Radliff goes for three from outside and plants it. 47 apiece. The game is all tied up, but won't be for long. That is an easy dunk. No, uh, just not getting back to that loose man who breaks as soon as the bucket is scored a Melbourne player is taking off very quickly and the Bullets defense are just too slow to respond they're putting the pressure on down underneath the bucket but they're forgetting the man down the other end of the court oh double steal there and this will be easy money for Andrew Gaze 
leaving the man isolated at one end of the court was a ploy that the Adelaide 36ers used to use a lot against the Brisbane Bullets. They always seem to have a man ready under the bucket to plant one on the uh, on the break after the Bullets scored. Gaze is doing it again. Gaze inside. Oh, nice move. And that's Dave Simmons. What I said before, they've uh, every kick now and then they just swap from that move across the top, the shuffle across the top, and they go down to that layered post. And that time it was Simmons just jamming Winston. in. He's very strong from down low. And in that replay, as we just saw Winston drop to, but did you see Winston cry it under the bucket? Now I know for a fact that he would have loved to have gone up with Simmons then, but he had to keep his feet on the floor. Had he been playing in America, he would have gone up for this for the athletic block or a big reject of some sort. But over here you can just see the frustration on his face as gaze under the bucket. Another another easy one for the Melbourne Tigers. They're really a little bit too pumped up. Well, it's his big chance. He, he started off at the beginning of the season. Here was the uh, starting point guard. Another big duck. This one from Dave Simmons. Getting back to Greg Fox. He was the starting point guard as we watched that duck again on the replay. It's been the story of the night so far. And probably least expected. I mean, we just haven't seen them play like this in Brisbane before. And uh, I think everyone is stunned in the crowd as we are in the commentary box. Nigel Purchase, beautiful yeah, assist. Got a at the yeah. top. Big Dave Simmons doing it as he's been doing it all night. I don't know when Coach Lindsay Kay starts feeling confident about the. Uh, so we have a look at that replay inside about the result. But 28 point lead, I should say, not 18. It's uh, been hard to keep up with this scoreline. Well, it could be an interesting quarter. What else do you say at three-quarter time when you're down by that much? But, well, go out and give it your best shot. So, if anything, I would think that the Brisbane Bullets will be going out to uh, try and put a bit of a showtime on and take every opportunity they have. They won't be settling down too much. They haven't got uh, that much time to do any settling down. So. Great timing underneath the basket by Andrew Gaze. Loggins and Dorge both frustrated. And Craig with the jam, and he almost broke the metal off the backboard. A huge one-handed jam. A little bit of venom in that one. As the steal goes to Darren Perry. Larry Sengstock. Well, it hasn't been a happy 250th for him. He got blown away in his 200th game, as I mentioned, against Canberra. And at this next milestone, he's been blown away again. But he's had a pretty fair game himself. A challenge now for the Bullets to regroup at training this week and come out for next week's games. Just got to scratch this game right out of your memory. Um, there's no doubt that this is a great team with a lot of talent and they should be contenders out there with that sort of talent. Now they've just got to put it back on themselves to mentally prepare themselves for next week's games. Brad Pino's first points. Once again, they just hurried it a little. Instead of consolidating in the last 20 seconds. It's showtime for the Tigers now. Some pirouettes from Eric Bailey. The turnover and the three-point bomb is good. So how good is this man as well? We haven't seen that much of Eric Bailey, but from all reports, he certainly is a player. Last That's second. Last hopeful shot. And the Melbourne Tigers haven't beaten the Brisbane Bullets. They've humiliated them. 137 points to 108, the 29-point winning margin. Congratulations to Lindsay Gaze and his team. They are certainly playoff material. We'll take a break and come back with the final summary in a moment.